What's up guys, Jimmy or Chaos, welcome back. And everybody knows that the bombing run is one of the better score streaks in Advanced Warfare. Score streaks are hard to come by, um, and ones that actually rack up some kills for you in Advanced Warfare are even more scarce. But the bombing run is one of those. And the other day I showed you how to turn the bombing run into an emergency airdrop as well. If you want to check that out, there is a link on the at the top of the, the video. You guys can look at that. These are all bombing runs I got in a day's worth of play. And I'm going to explain to you guys, and this is really simple, I say explain, but it's not hard at all, how to supercharge your bombing runs. Now, there's two ways. One, you can add the extra bomber for 300 points under the score streak attachments, but that way is that it's harder. I mean, the bombing run is, I believe it's 900, 800, something like that. Even if you throw hardline on, I think it's like 750, something like that. And if you add another 300 point attachment to get that extra bomber, you're looking at a thousand points or higher to get your bombing run, which is doable, but you're not going to rotate through as many as you, you could otherwise. Usually in a good match of momentum or ground war, I can get three to four bombing runs with no problem with a UAV or system hack setup or something like that. So that is one way you can supercharge it, but the easier way is simply to throw on the danger close perk. That's right, not a lot of people talk about this, but the Danger Close perk actually increases your score streak damage. That's right, now I don't know if there's any any proof or Drifter has done a video on this to show that it actually works. I don't know if there's actually any factual evidence to prove this, but what it states is that it will increase the score streak damage, which fits right in with our bombing run because it's all about explosive damage when it comes to the bombs and this thing saturates the map with explosive damage so if you throw on that danger close perk well common sense tells me that it's going to be even better and then if you really want to take it to the next level you will throw on that extra bomber for 300 points slap on the danger close perk and then you have the ultimate supercharged bombing run so i want you guys to try this out Try it out in all aspects. Do a couple with the bombing run by itself, then go throw on the extra bomber, and then go throw on the danger close perk with the extra bomber. Tweet at me, let me know how many kills you get. It is not uncommon to get four to five to six kills with this bombing run. You should be able to get you a bunch of fury medals with this, if not anything better. So let me know how you guys do. Tweet at me if it's there's actually a difference. And if there is a video where somebody uh, competently breaks it down, and shows actually how it does increase the score streak damage or how much it does. Gives us some, some drifter type in depth stats. Let me know, I'm very curious to see myself. I can personally say, I don't, I don't know if it's a placebo effect, but with the danger close perk on, I felt like I was getting more kills per bombing run than without it, but that could just be where the people are placed on the map and where I dropped the bombing run. Who knows? But you guys, let me know. Communicate with me on it in the comments section as well. Let's see if there's actually a difference. But that is the way to supercharge your already lethal bombing run. I hope you guys have a great day. Drop a like on the video if you would. And on the screen now is a full tour of my armory and all my elite weapons and gear and stuff. So you guys go check that out as well. And I'll see you later.